Alright guys, in this video I am going to teach you the basics of navigating around your computer using the terminal. And I thought it would be pretty cool if I give you guys a little visual demonstration of what's going on as well. So open your terminal and also open up this right here, this little file drawer. So this is Ubuntu's visual navigator and whenever you open both of these they put you in the same location. So I logged in as Bucky. This is Bucky's home. So let's say that I wanted to, um, I don't know, navigate to the desktop. Well, we can easily see that for the Visual Navigator, I'm just going to double click desktop and here are all the files on my desktop. Now, if you're in the terminal and you ever want to go into a directory just like I just did, make sure to press LS and then this shows you all of the places you can move into. So it's pretty much showing you this and instead of double clicking because you can't double click in here write CD and this is the command that stands for change directory and I want to go into my desktop so desktop so change directory go into the desktop so now if I do LS list all the files in my desktop I only have one and that is story story so you pretty much did the same thing so how do we go back into um, you know our home directory well with the visual navigator it's easy just click this big old back button however um, see ls there's no back command so in order to go back or up into your parent directory type cd dot dot and this means move up or go back one directory so now if I pwd it says you're back in your home now another cool little short command, let me just move back into my desktop right now. So right now I'm in my desktop. If you're ever somewhere weird and you just want to go back home, just write CD with no additional information and it's going to put you back home no matter where you are on your computer. So what I want to show you guys now is how to create and delete folders and we can actually get rid of this. Demo is over. All right. So right now I'm in my home and I want to move back into my desktop so I'm going to write CD desktop. Now if I hit clear this just wipes all the extra crap on the screen away but it doesn't um you know it's not like opening a brand new terminal you're still in the desktop whenever you hit clear. So right now we're in the desktop. We're pretty much right here and I want to create a new folder or directory and I'll just say uh I'll just name it other so anytime you want to create a folder call MKDIR and this stands for make directory. So now you need to give it a name of your folder and I'm just going to name it other. So check it out. I just created it in the shell and look it pops up right there on the desktop. So let's go ahead and make another one because that was pretty fun. Make another directory. So whenever you make a directory it makes it wherever you currently are. So I'm on the desktop it's going to make a folder called tuna on the desktop. So I actually want to get rid of one of these so let's just go ahead and delete um, tuna right there. So anytime you want to delete a folder from the shell hit rm dir. This means remove directory. What folder do you want to delete? Well how about tuna? So hit enter and it deletes tuna. Check it out. So that's how you make and delete directories. What about files? Well, anytime you want to create a file, you can use the keyword touch. I actually am not really sure why they named it touch, but they did. And there's it's actually kind of tricky, not tricky, but something you need to remember. This touch command is going to take the name of your file that you want to create. Now, since this story file already exists, whenever I hit enter, it's not going to make any changes. So this touch command, it only creates a file if it doesn't already exist. So nothing changed in that uh, little example. But let's say I want to create a file called bacon. Well, I don't have any bacon file right here. So whenever I run this, it's going to create a new file called bacon. So pretty cool. And if you ever want to delete a file, hit RM. And this re means remove bacon. So pretty easy. That's how you delete files. So, all right, we can create and delete folders. We can also create and delete files. 
what if we want to do something like copy a file? So here is a file called story and I want to make a copy of it called story2. How creative, right? We'll just write cp and this means copy the file story. Now since you're making a copy of it, you need to give the new file or the copy of it a new name. So for mine, I'm just going to call story2 and check it out. It takes story, makes a copy of it and names it story2. And if I click this, you can see that it is an exact copy, all the contents, boom, roasted. All right, well, that's great, but actually, I want to take this story too, and I want to move it inside my other directory right here. Well, anytime you want to move a file, what you do is you type the command MV. So, first, well, this takes two pieces of information. The first one is what file are you trying to move? And the second piece of information is where do you want to move it? So I'm trying to move the file story to, all right, where do you want to move it? Well, I'm just going to move it in the other directory and it's going to be named story two still. So hit enter and it takes that and it moves it inside the other directory with the same name, story two. Now you can also rename a file using the same move command because what move does is basically takes this, moves it somewhere else, and then deletes the original. So it's kind of weird, but that's essentially how moving files work. So let's say that I wanted to rename this story to Tuna. Why not? Well, what I can do is just hit MV. So I'm going to move the file story. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into the same directory, but I'm going to give it a new name of Tuna. So I'm going to hit Enter and check it out. So what it did is it moved it into the same directory and the new file that it moved, which is essentially the, just the same file, it called it tuna and it deleted story. So that's the basics of how to navigate around. And for the next tutorial, I want to make sure I'm back in my home directory. So go back home and hit clear and give me a blank slate. So now you know how to navigate around. You know how to make directories, delete directories. You know how to create files, delete files, how to copy and move. You learn a bunch of stuff and we're only getting started. I am pumped up. But for now, got to go eat some pizza. See you guys next video.